good morning students let us we discuss about the topic linear programming what is linear programming before going to learn about the concepts of linear programming let us you know what is the use of linear programming this concept linear programming and how to deal with uh, our regular life uh, example problems in this linear programming let us you know you can refer even ncrt textbook also before going to learn about this concept first you should know how we will deal with this concepts already in earlier class previous class you people learn about linear inequalities or linear inequalities in last year linear inequalities or linear inequalities you are learning grade 11 how to represent graphically when it is away from i mean when depends on con given condition depends on given condition when the graphical representation will be away from the origin or towards origin you have learn so now in this grade or in this class you will learn some extend about of linear inequalities or inequalities it is a mainly deal with uh, some general regular life examples also for example if we can frame uh, this linear inequalities or inequations or linear constraints in industries or else in our regular life examples or which is related to regular life diet i mean what is the percentage of uh, our grams uh, are milligrams of uh, different vitamins or carbohydrates or proteins are required we can frame in the form of a, a linear equation a linear inequation in two variable that is called a linear inequal in linear inequations or linear constraints so by for dealing how much maximum of diet is required to to get maximum energy or is how much minimum cost we need to keep i mean we need to um, use or spend for getting maximum energy that is uh, this all the concept i mean concepts deal with the topic linear programming and uh, we can apply to industrial side also how means how much maximum output we can get by you by keeping minimum investment on different example in an industrial area they are preparing some chairs and tables let us we take number of chairs number of tables tables as x and y for suppose if they get the profit uh, by uh, by uh, by selling one chair if they get rupees 100 or rupees 200 example table 500 so what is the possible linear inequation to get maximum profit with a minimum cost so so like that we can frame linear inequations or linear constraints and we'll solve in this chapter linear programming whatever you learn last year in grade level same concepts are useful to solve those type of regular life examples not only in industry area diet even we can apply to our regular life example distance travel by a car and amount of uh, petrol spent by us proportional or indirect proportion direct proportion like that uh, why we can frame linear inequalities nothing but linear constraints for feasible function we will feasible region i mean what are the possible by framing the linear equation but mostly total we will deal with graphical representation only either directly sometime they will give i mean they will give directly linear function objective function nothing but and uh, linear inequations or linear constraints then we will show graphically in this manner so here these graphs whatever representing these are called linear inequations or linear constraints this region which is covered by o a b c this closed polygon is called feasible region and this o a b c 
these are called feasible points so we can find the maximum value i mean maximum profit or minimum value minimum production i mean minimum cost maximum production maximum profit or feasible region in sometimes feasible region may be unbounded if it is open polygon i mean it is not bounded for example if you see here it is an open polygon so it is unbounded in this case it's not possible so we will deal all these uh, problems graphically in this chapter linear programming this is about introduction about this topic students so first linear programming what is linear programming linear programming is a method for finding the optimum optimum means it may be maximum value or minimum value maximum profit minimum cost maximum output minimum input like that maximum or minimum solution to a linear function linear function nothing but objective function which for which we are dealing means we can use already you learn in grade 10 also how to but grade 10 you learn about linear equations but here we will deal with linear inequalities so solution to a linear function or objective function of a two or more variables two or more means sometimes we will take cha table chives if you take one more variable that is three variables so generally but in your standard you have only two two variables two or more variables subject to some set of linear inequalities linear inequalities means some conditions i mean number of tables produced the number of it a profit or minimum profit or maximum profit may depends on number of tables produced or number of chairs produced or else minimum cost or maximum cost may depend number of production of number of tables number of chairs but if you deal with by formal equations linear linear inequalities it is easy to understand let us we go through with the basic points some set of linear inequalities or linear constant all decision variables are restricted to non negative quantities because number of tables or number of chairs never may never be negative that is why always it will be non negative in quantities so what is objective function to max to find maximum or minimum value we will use the linear function or objective function first you should know what is objective function objective function means linear function z which is in the form of ax plus b y where a and b are constants which has to be minimized or max minimized or maximized is called objective function means what is the, our objective or motto to get maximum value or minimum value no need always maximum value sometime we will deal with minimum value for example profit uh, case maximum profit we will think but when we what is the cost of production means we will try to keep less cost to get more production so in that one minimum cost for maximum production so in that we will do we will deal with minimum profit or production positive values will take, may take make it maximum even even real exam real life examples what is the minimum cost we should spend maximum energy or proteins or vitamins or carbohydrates i mean ingredient ingredients required to get the particular vitamins for suppose um, if you want maximum vitamin vitamin c to product pro, to get more immunity power we will think about less to co less cost more vitamins less cost more oh, proteins less cost more carbohydrates like that so maximum will be what we required minimum will be what we are spending so both we will deal that linear function is called objective function so it has we discuss some more key points which are related to linear programming once again i am repeating linear programming is a method for finding the optimum means maximum value or minimum value solution or values to a linear function that is called objective function to to of two or more variables i mean like chains or some conditions they will give for that i mean less number of chains more number of tables required to get maximum profit minimum production i mean minimum cost for production 
less number of uh, tables, maximum number of trays in that depends. That is called where uh, I mean linear functions are object to I mean linear inequalities, inequations are linear constraints that values all decision variables they are restricted to be non-negative quantities. Means number of quant number of trays are like that any object to will be always non-negative quantities. We never take negatives. In that objective function means a linear function which is in the form of ax plus by where a and b are constants which has to be maximized or minimized. Maximized or minimized is called objective function. Yes students, yes. So we will go through some more introduction, I mean important points, key points of this topic students. Yes students. Now third point. First two points. We discussed about linear programming as well as objective function. Now let us be discuss about constraints. What is the meaning of constraints? I mean, in an industrial related problem, we will deal with uh, the number of uh, production. I mean, number of cars produced, number of zips produced, or number of buses produced, or number of trucks produced like that. In previously we discussed about number of tables produced, number of trades produced for maximum product, maximum profit with minimum cost price. So minimum is cost price, maximum profit. I mean like that we will deal. So constraints means the linear inequations are inequalities or restrictions. I mean conditions for getting maximum product pro profit for getting maximum profit some inequations or restrictions are required. I mean conditions. They are called constraints. So constraints means the linear inequations or restrictions on the variables of linear programming problems are called as constraints. Based on that some restrictions or conditions, some linear inequations we will frame or will be given then we can find what is the optimized values, I mean maximum or minimized value, that those linear inequations or restrictions or conditions are on the variables, I mean generally two variables, x and y, like it may be more than two, but in your standard only two variables, they are called constraints. So now optimization problem. What is the optimization problem? A problem which seeks to maximize or minimize, very fast earlier, before starting this point, third point, we discuss about objective function as well as linear programming. This all deals with uh, maximize, minimize value only. That is nothing but minima, maximize or minimize linear function. That is nothing but objective function. In general, two variables. Subject to constraints. Constraints means which we will deal, I mean what are the restrictions are given. Subject to constraints, certain certain constraints certain constraints means what is particular based on the problem defined or based on the condition defined certain constraints as determined as determined by a set of linear inequations or inequalities is called an optimization problem what is optimization of problem optimization problem means which we seek to maximize or minimize a linear function or objective function subject to certain constraints nothing but uh, restrictions or given conditions which are in variables as determined by a set of linear inequations which will be in two variables is called optimization problem so students till now we discuss four problems which are four points four key points to solve the given linear programming problems but graphically 100% we will do graphically only. Of course, without graph also we can do algebraically. But here we will deal. But we can't. We will not get the exact values. Up to I mean the feasible region is not possible to find. Graphically it is possible. That is why we will use graphical method here. So linear programming, objective function, or else uh, linear function, as well as constraints and optimization problem. These are all the key concepts. Let us discuss some more key points in this part. The next part, 
we will start we will you will learn how to solve graphically given problem in some conditions minimized maxed maximized and third part you will learn both how can we find minimized maximized values and unbounded region i mean which is not closed polygon graphically you may get unbounded one let us we discuss how see here it is a closed one here it is also closed ones means but if you observe this one this is it is it is a polygon which is open one means it is total feasible region unlimited it is unbounded region but these are boundary is there so it is all closed one in this cases in these three cases we can find maximize minimize values but in this case not possible to find this is unbounded so we will discuss first first part we will discuss about introduction or key points of linear programming second part we will learn the graphical representation of linear programming problems as well as minimize or maximize and third part you will learn about bounded when to how to find both minimize and maximize graphically all are, are, are including unbounded regions and the fourth part last one you will deal about different type of uh, linear programming problems which are related to die industrialization etc so we will deal these all in four parts so you please go through this so how to draw i mean manufacturing problems die problem transportation problems i mean minimum transportation problem minimum by spending minimum minimum cost of transportation we should get maximum profit so we will deal with linear programming let us we continue in this part with two or a few more points then after we'll conclude students yes friends now in previously you have learned about linear programming problem objective function constraints what is constraints and what is object optimization of problem and you these are all the points you have learned now let us you learn up you will learn about feasible region this is nothing but feasible points also the point it is defined as a set of points which satisfy all the constraints including non negative constraints x is greater than or equal to 0 y is greater than or equal to 0 constraints nothing but constraints nothing but the linear equations or inequalities which are given already you have learned about linear inequalities in grade 11 i mean previous class so that only we will do again but we will get a set of uh, a set of bounded uh, polygon or closed polygon like this students these points all the points uh, see You observe this graph, my graphical method. This is a closed one. O A B C. It's a closed polygon. This closed polygon is called feasible region. I mean, where all the solutions are possible, or the boundary points are called feasible points, and this is called feasible region. So where all these linear equations, after representing graphically, where all these linear equations. are combinedly forming a closed polygon it's called feasible region these points are o a b c not a o a b c every time it may be it may changes problem to problem here you see a b c d so a b c d for this feasible feasible region a b c d are the feasible points c students a b c d is the feasible points here o a b c in this case we can found o a b c so problems to problem it changes but in this case it is a unbounded one so it is not a feasible it is just a feasible region but maximization minimization part not possible because there is no end you have learn about this in 11th only but you did not deal with linear programming dealing with any equations by representing graphically that we will find a minimized value maximize value nothing but minimum production value maximum profit profit value or minimum cost of uh, cost on ingredients maximum proteins or maximum vitamins getting these are called as feasible region 
collinear programming model. It is a set of algebraic statements already. You all learned statements, nothing but linear equations of linear programming. That is, it comprises of optimum or objective function and linear constraints. This is nothing but what we have done graphically. This total graphical representation simply we will call linear programming model. So students, in this grade we will deal with linear inequations only whatever you have learned previous class but you will deal for finding minimum values, maximized values, I mean feasible regions, nothing but feasible points for closed polygon. So you will learn further how to represent graphically and how these all applicable to our regular life examples you will learn. These are the introduction and basic points of linear programming. Please go through students. Thank you. Let us in the second part we will discuss how to find graphically. Thank you. Let me continue.